In today's video, we're going to be fixing the worst club in FIFA 22. And that's going to be my local club, Mumbai City FC. You guys have wanted an Indian fixing challenge for so long, and we're doing it. Oh my god! Okay, it's happening! But of course, I don't think it'll be challenging or fun if we do it in the Indian League. So I'm going to be putting Mumbai City FC, a one-star team, in the fourth division of English football. And we're going to fix them. Get to work. Guys, I don't think I know what I've gotten myself into. Our keeper's 56 rated. We've got a 55 rated fullback and the highest rated player we've got, Angulo. He, he's 37. He should be in an old age home. Boom. Roasted. Yo, this may take 10 seasons or maybe even more. This might be the longest fixing challenge we've ever done. Only 2.67 million as well to spend. I don't even know how we're going to do this. So sit back and relax. Maybe get yourself some snacks and drinks because because it's going to be a tough one. If you are ready for the most difficult fixing challenge ever, drop a like in the video and let's begin. I think you guys knew this already. The homegrown player is going to be so clutch for us. Lucas Matthews, an English player. I would have loved to have him be Indian, but that's not possible because of the fact that we're starting in England and the homegrown player is got to be an English player. So Lucas Matthews is going to be the man for the job. 74 rated. He literally becomes our best player immediately and we'll need him if we want to get to the Premier League. That's like a signing in itself. Straight away I'm going to put him in the first team. Lucas Matthews. Let's go. I look at this team guys and honestly we need signings wherever possible. Guys, I'm going to try something very interesting. Gianluigi Buffon. Possibly for free. Ah, oh, we can't get him for free. He's valued at 700,000. Nah, I don't want to be spending a million on a player that's 43. He's gonna retire soon. Nah, that's not happening. Are there any free agents that could be useful? Yo, this guy looks not too bad. Nico Hamalinen. Uh, finish. Good stats. 24. That's a good free agent. I might just sign him up. Why not? That's gonna be our first proper signing. He wants a crucial squad role, so he should probably be good in his overall. There you go. First signing. I don't even know his overall. 67 rated we'll take that guys i think just for the sake of this video we need to sign an indian player and i just want to sign probably the greatest indian player of all time sunil chetri i don't know if we can sign him we're gonna give this a go we'll scout him but i think it's only fair we sign him in a video like this i don't know how much he's gonna play but, but still this should be a fun transfer to pull off by the way i'm pretty sure you guys know the record that he's the third highest active international gold scorer how mental is that guys we need a new center back or probably a goalkeeper. I think maybe investing in a keeper is smarter. The issue is we can't sign any youngsters from the top leagues. They won't join the fourth division of English football. We're gonna have to be smart about this. We need to sign a keeper and we're gonna have to bring out the checkbook for this one. Carl Rushworth. I think he'll be good for us. Can we maybe swap one of the keepers we've got? They're worth nothing, man. They, they re We've got a 49 rated keeper, man. His value is like the wages for some players. Like, that's, that's just... <laughs> Hilarious. We'll try and put in maybe him in this swap deal. We're giving away a 49 rated player. Trying to save maybe a little bit of cash. Let's just see. 800,000 in the deal. They're willing to take him. Yo, they're willing to take him and, and only 920,000 off that. Perfect. Works for me. Can't believe we're doing this swap deal. There you go. Carl Rushworth is being signed. You love to see that. Couple of really smart signings, you know. Guys, I'm telling y'all, development is going to be the key. We might see maybe some Indian players being super high rated, but we need to put development plans on all our new signings. Rushworth's getting one. Uh, Hamalenin, uh, I don't know how to say his name. We'll just call him Nico, I think. That's his first name. We'll put him on a development plan as well. Yup. So, that's gonna be super key. Need a new centre-back. Callum Doyle, 17 from Sunderland. His contract's expiring as well. I think we can get a deal on this. Let's see if I can get him for like a million. That would be such a dub. Let's see. And it's working. 1% sell-on clause. You guys can have that. Let's go. He's literally making £430 per week. Like, what even is that for a wage? Unbelievable. And he literally wants a wage cut. He's a fine with it. He wants 350 here. Well, I, I genuinely think, you know what, I feel bad. You know, let's let's give him a little bit more. 600. Uh, yeah, let's just come on. Come on. Now, let him enjoy his life. Callum Doyle, we're signing him up. And the final player I want to sign in this window is Sunil Chetri. Can we pull off the greatest Indian footballer of all time and sign him? Let's see. I wouldn't mind this at all. Is there someone we can maybe swap? Maybe this guy, because he's 
47 rated and he isn't gonna do much and maybe 200,000 in the deal let's see if that'll work nah they, they want one of our left backs i don't know if i should give him let's just pay 271 and just get this done with there you go that's done we're, we're, we're gonna sign him up and there you go we've signed the greatest indian player of all time for the first time in one of my videos you know sadly he only gets on the bench i just realized that's a bit of an l but let's put the other players in the team there goes rushworth callum doyle goes in as well a lot of the new signings look at that defense now looks nice all right guys for the first season that's the squad i think we invested well in our back line let's see if we can get direct promotion in the first season it's possible because a lot of the other clubs in this league are one star clubs as well we're taking india to the top of the english world let's go boys we've just won the efl league too i didn't expect this to be honest we do have a 74 rated cam from the academy who's gonna help us out tremendously in this challenge but there you go direct promotion to efl league one did we end up winning any of the cups nah not the papa jones trophy of course not but, but what i'm interested in is player growth so matthews went up by only a couple of ratings but that's fine we had this guy is i think one of the highest potential indian players in the game apuya he's only 21 so he grew pretty well doyle grew massively up to 69 hamalinen grew well as well rushworth as well setting up nicely for the next season you know stats wise we had angulo our 67 rated striker balling for us 16 goals matthews brilliant season from him and of course sunil chetri still scored nine goals not bad well um i think a lot of our high rated players have left the club because they were so old most of them just retired i'm pretty sure this fall guy is leaving as well we're left with a not so good squad with a lot of 55 60 rated players and everything i don't know what we're gonna do in this window boys it's it's gonna be tough we have a bit more money to work with 4.7 million let's see what we can do with this i think free agents gonna be clutch again let's see if there are any good free agents available in season two usually there are a few i mean i would have liked tammy abraham but I, i've never heard of timmy <sighs> abraham is he, is he actually his brother bruh he is actually the brother of tammy abraham wow i didn't even know that suleiman abdullahi actually looks decent you know might just sign him because some of his stats look pretty insane if we can get him for a free and he's maybe like 66 67 rated that's our striker position sorted for a bit at least he wants a crucial role which means his overall is good and he's 25 yo i'm just signing the most random players ever in this series on this video actually it's a bit mad this is demands pretty reasonable we'll pay them and we've just signed a new striker who i've never heard about he's 68 rated now that's what i call a good pickup no way guys one of the heroes of this channel who remembers him sean kevin augustine i don't even care what his overall is this is the perfect video to sign a player like him we're, we're gonna put him in that striker role we're gonna sign like two pretty insane strikers for free that's that's really good business you know his demands aren't too bad i'm pretty sure he's like pretty low rated so that's a bit of an l but you know what i don't care i think he'll still be useful he is 67 rated but i still think it's a smart signing to make there's this dolan kid playing for blackburn drovers if we can get a right wing of his quality the amount of goals we're scoring would be amazing so gonna try and sign him but i don't know how feasible this is because we don't we're not playing with much budget i think we can just about afford this if we reduce the fees a little bit just a little bit let's see they're not bringing it down they're not bringing it down this could be our best signing yet if we can pull this off and 4.55 million for dolan he's got 81 potential if i'm not wrong this could be a big signing for us he only wants like a one-year deal with us like we'll make it two years but that's where he doesn't trust the process man okay uh we'll remove the gold bonus submit offer and we're just about done with all our money we're signing dolan now all right i think we're done with transfers for season two i don't know if our team is better than last season maybe it is with dolan and matthews being high rated let's see what we do this season guys although i said this was going to be one of the most difficult fixing challenges ever i don't know how we're doing this but we've just won league one and now we're heading straight to the championship i guess the level in league one and league four of english football is basically the same as the indian league according to fifa at least the team's looking nice look at Dolan up to 77. Matthews up to an 83. Uh, this Apuya guy is doing pretty well too. Doyle up to 73. Core of this team, you could say Nico, Doyle, Rushward, Dolan, Matthews. They're doing very, very well. And yeah, I'm pretty happy with everything so far. Dolan top scorer. I think signing him for, for big money was the way. And look at Augustine hopping up with 20 goals. Fair play. Okay, how did both end up playing so many games? I think one of them must have played on the left.
episode or something like that. Probably, yeah, that explains it. Season 3 begins now with Mumbai City FC and, of course, we're in the championship. I think our good runner form is going to end now. There's no way I think we're getting direct promotion to the Premier League. That might be a good thing. A few seasons in the championship, getting the squad ready might be smart. This season, we've got a budget of about just 6 million. The budget's not been working. We need some quality free agents, man. That's the only way we're improving this team. Okay, there are four free agents I want to shine. I don't know if we have the money to pull off all of them. Two right backs and two CDMs. That'll give us depth in those positions. And a couple of those players are pretty good. Leo Dubois, 77 rated signing in the championship. We'll need something like that. There you go. That's our first signing done for the season. We've signed a 77 rated right back. Let's go. We've just signed another right back. I'm not sure signing two right backs that are really good makes all that much sense. But I think in the long term, probably will. The kid that Carrillo is already 75 and he's 20. He's kind of, I think, a region of someone. I think in this season, we're only going to sign free agents because I feel like that's where the value is for this season. Instead of signing Mendy, who's 31, I think we'll just put all the money into Cuevas because already one Argentinian free agent has worked out well. Maybe another one will too. A lot of these free agent regions are super OP, man. And I think this one's another one of those players. Signing him up as well. There you go. I want to see his overall. He's only 71 rated, but that's a lot better than what we have right now. I think I found Nacho Fernandez, who's literally available for free. Could be a great player to give a bit of experience to this team. He's won the Champions League so many times. We can maybe get him on like a two-year deal or something. That would be an unreal. But the wages are a lot, man. He's going to take a lot of out of our transfer budget. But we're only signing free agents this season. That's the only way I see anything happening. Adding Nacho Fernandez onto the team as well. He's 81 rated. That's a big, big pickup. Let's go. First team is coming together. We probably need like a left winger. That's important. Kind of want to sign one more center back because I think I found Giorgio Chiellini's regent. Obanucci as well. This guy, Italian. What's his name right here? Piero Ferraro. Looks pretty insane. So we're going to sign him up too. There you go. We've signed, I think, Chiellini's regent. Yo, he's 82 rated. Let's go. That's one of our best signings. Oh my God. We can now put Nacho probably on the bench. He's, well, to be honest, probably going to start over Doyle. But that's brilliant. What a window it's been. In. Let's go. Our back line is insane. Free agents are the way, man. We've improved our side tremendously. You know what I'm thinking? A, a striker like Borja Iglesias with the overall he's got, I think he'll bring the goals that we need to get into the Premier League. Yo, this window is turning out to be the most ridiculous one I think I've had in any of the fixing challenges. Let's go. Gonna have to definitely pay him big wages. I think he's gonna be one of our highest earners. 40,000 per week for Iglesias. I think I'm done with signings for now. Adding Borja Iglesias to the team it's good. We're lacking in a few positions, but we're going to try and make it work. That's going to be the team we rock in the championship. Is it enough to get promotion to the Premier League? Let's see. We missed out on direct promotion, but we were definitely best of the rest. Fulham and Brentford going up to the Premier League, but we could be making it to the Premier League as well. We need to get through the playoffs. And it's Watford we're facing in the playoff semis. Rating wise, look at our team, man. It's doing really well. Look at Ferraro. What a player. That's him this first leg against Watford. It's only a one-all draw. We got the second leg against Watford. Can we get through them? Come on now. No, no, no. We're gonna have to do the championship all over again. Another season here. Ah, oh, so close to the Premier League. But that's how it goes. I told you we weren't quite good enough to make it to the Premier League in one season. But we will get there soon enough. Look at our team though. We, we just need to fill a few holes in this side and we'll be good. We'll absolutely be good. Like especially left wing, midfield, and will be sorted. All right, Glacius, that was a really smart signing because he's the man for the job. A bit of veteran up top. And look at him, bang 24 goals this season. It's season four now, and it's, I think, time we get to, of course, the Premier League. It's pretty obvious we need a CDM and a left winger, and that should get us over the line, I feel. And it's good to know we've got a budget of 15 million this season. That's going to be helpful. Well, the budget has been reduced to 14 million and probably even less because I had to sit there and renew a ton of content. Contracts. Might be another season where we try and get bargains off the free market. We need to sign a new left winger and this might be the perfect player from Manchester City. 
Jaden Broffin, because we're in the championship, we can now approach to sign players in the big league. So that's good. He's 74 rated, going to be a big upgrade, and he's going to literally wipe out our budget, I think. We're going to go in with, with a 7 million offer because his contract is expiring. 7.8 million is good enough. We're finally signing a player for cash because I don't think there were any good wingers as free agents. They're really rare. So we're, we're trying to sign Jaden Broff. I think we will get this done. Come on, let's get him on a five-year deal. A brilliant no release clause wages. It's going to be a tough one, but I'm going to try and give him 40,000 per week and he's willing to accept a wage card to join us. You'll love to see that. How are we in the championship with an 89 rated player? A bit mad, to be honest. I couldn't really find a good CDM, so the Indian CDM stays in the team. That's the rest of the team. I really think we're good enough to, of course, get promotion this season. Let's see what happens. Second time's the charm for us as we manage to get direct promotion to the Premier League, beating the likes of Crystal Palace and all. Let's go. Look at Braff up to a 78. Now, that was a good signing indeed. Dolan up to 80. Ferraro Doyle doing well. Rushworth. It's been a good season. Borga Iglesias, 27 goals. We got him for free and he's firing us to the Premier League. In the Premier League with an Indian club. Yep, that's actually happening. We're now in our fifth season and, and we've got a team, you know. I think we should be able to survive no problem in the Prem, but it's all about improving. We've got here, by the way, with Apuya. He's the legend, guys. An Indian player all the way in the Premier League with this side. That's brilliant. Our biggest budget ever, about 40 million. I think we can do bits with it. With Nacho Fernandez gone, I needed a new backup centre-back. Signed this guy for free. Levi Colville, 76 rated. Can't go wrong with that. Also signed another free agent in Eren Dingchi, a German winger. Need some depth in the winger positions. Thought he'd be brilliant. I'm done with the free agent signings, man. We're not going to use cash to improve the team. There are a couple of players I want to sign. I don't know if I can pull off both signings. One is Onana for the CDM position and the other one is Trofford for the left back position. I think we can only make one signing. We have to make a decision. Oh boy. I think I'm going to go... Oh, this is tough. Let's go with Onana. I think having the middle of the pack secured is more important. Unless we get like a deal on him, you know, things might work in our favor, but it looks like now we're going to have to shell out a ton of cash. For quality, you got to pay up sometimes. 30 million is what we're paying for him. There you go. Onana has been signed. It's been a solid window of improving the team. I think our team is ready for the season. We're more than good enough to survive the Premier League. Maybe finish top 12 or something like that. Let's see how we do. First season in the Prem. I just got done with renewing contracts for our players and we're left with seven pounds in our budget. Guys, I can't find us in the Premier League table. Uh, wh where are we? Wh wh we're in the top half of the table. We're in the top six? What? Did we just make Champions League? Oh my god. God. First season in the Premier League and we make Champions League football? Are you kidding me? Are you actually kidding me? What just happened? I think having a 91 rated player in cam certainly helps and a defense that's that good. Yo, we've just done a bit of a madness, you know? And it was Borja Iglesias' top scorer yet again. The veteran has become a cult hero for us. Let's go. Look at Dolan as well. Some solid stats. Braff doing well. You love to see that. Here comes the money, guys. Season 6 with Mumbai City FC and we're rocking about 95 million now we're talking it's the first season we should be in the champions league as well and boys we've got a team we get a left back we get a striker and we're looking great come on now let's go we tried signing a certain truffert last season didn't quite pan out so i want to do this now perfect 83 rated he'd be the dream left back to sign but he's going to be expensive we can get him near his valuation that's what's up he's the kind of player that we need in that left back position but boys he's going to be expensive Expensive. That's going to make signing a striker a lot harder. We'll go with 40 million as our next offer. They're willing to come down to 48, which is very nice indeed. But we want them to come down even further. 44 million. And that works. Let's go. Got to check if there are any decent free agent strikers. Because that could save us a lot of money. There's Timmy Abraham. Still not good enough. I think we've exhausted our free agent luck, man. None of these strikers are looking all that insane. I think we'll have to just dish out some cash. There you go. The signing of Crawford's done. That's our left back position sorted. Let's go. Uh, let's put him on to the bench. Now we're talking. Actually, Trafford needs to be starting. What am I even saying? He's going to start 100%. Am I seeing things? Or is Hannibal Medjbri, one of Man United's most talented players, available for free? Guys, we need a bit of depth in, in the squad anyways. We're in the Champions League. I'm signing him up for free. Plus, this guy's got a fantastic Fellaini hair, as they say. Yep, well, we're going to sign him just for that, he could say. That was one expensive wages though but we can afford it so we'll pay it there you go Medjubri has been signed and he's 70 
99 rated. That's one hell of a player to have on the bench. Going to put Hannibal Medjbri instead of maybe Augustine. For now, I think we could do that. Absolutely. Is there any way we can afford Armando Broja? The Albanian, I've heard so much about him. We've never ended up using him in any of these challenges. I think this sign, and we're going to have to sacrifice Borja Iglesias. The fact that he's worth 31 million and he's 33, I think it'll be worth it. So let's just see if this is even possible. I'm going to put in an offer that's pretty much exactly his valuation. And they're willing to make it happen, but we need to up our transfer fee. Well, let, let's bring it down to, say, 35 million as our counter offer. We'll, we'll keep upping it, but let's see where we can get them to sell him. Okay, it seems like the price needs to be up a lot more. Let's go with 43 million as our next offer. We need money to sign his contract as well. 43 is not going to work. This is turning out to being ridiculously expensive. What about 46.2 million? And that works. Let's go. Can't believe we're pulling off this signing. An 85 rated striker that's only 24. Absolutely massive. Gonna offer him a good chunk of wages. 100,000 per week. Definitely an upgrade over what's he, what he's earning at Roma. There you go. Another big signing. We've got now a class striker. We've got Matthews in that camp spot. who's insane. Then we've got the likes of Onana, Cueva, Stolen, Braff. This team is good. Don't know how we're gonna fare in the Champions League. We've even got decent squad depth. I'm keen to see what we do this season. Sadly, guys, we lost the Carabao Cup final this season. But that's our first major final. Wow. And let's see what we do in the Champions League. Well, we've topped our group, which is amazing. Can we actually win it this season? That'll be unreal. Round of 16, I already played through that. And we knocked out Napoli 7-4. It's now time for the quarterfinals. All right, guys. Could, could we actually win the Champions League in just our sixth season? Nah, there's no way. There is literally no way we do that. It's Borussia Dortmund we're facing. Our squad is clearly there to get this done. They've got Haaland, though, so I'm a bit worried about that. First leg. Yep, they've got Haaland. It was Baku who scored. 2-0 in the first leg. I don't think we're quite there just yet. I don't think a comeback is on the cards, but just in case it happens, let's see. Well, we lost 3-1. We got taught a footballing lesson here. First experience in the Champions League quarterfinals. We do end up winning the Premier League, though. How did we pull this off? Let's go six seasons with a club from India. One star rating. And in six seasons, we've made them Premier League winners. That's what we call elite management, boys. Let's go. That's basically our first big trophy. Look at the stats. Broha, that's one hell of a signing. Popped up with 30 goals. Let's go. Look at the player growth as well. This team is there. We improve our squad depth a little bit. I think we're coming for that Champions League sooner rather than later. Season 7. And I see Neymar available for free. I'm taking this opportunity. I know he's only 82 rated, but I can keep him on the bench for squad depth. I love the idea of this. Let's go. We'll try maybe getting him on a two-year deal. I can't believe I'm signing Neymar for Mumbai City FC. Like, what even is happening in these streets? There you go. We've just signed Neymar for free. We've got about 100 million to spend this season after even signing Neymar. Putting Neymar on the bench, it's good. I feel like this team is good enough. I'm thinking we sign like a CDM, a world-class CDM, and that should propel us to, of course, a Champions League final. That's my thinking. Let's get to it. I want to sign 100 million CDM. 100 million what CDM? Not, not 100 million CDM. What am I going to do with all of them? I guess we'll never know. Pretty sure a player like Declan Rice would just be perfect. A bit of experience. Is he still playing? He should be, right? Like, he should be in his prime. Declan Rice, 28 years old. Perfect. This is perfect. He's a leader as well. A player like this is what we need to try and win the Champions League. And we can probably afford this as well. 70 million, my first offer for Big Declan. They want 99. Surely we can pay this. Bring it down to 90 million. There you go. They want 99. Come on now. We'll still end up paying uh, what West Ham want. 95 million. There you go. And Declan Rice accepts the contract. An 88 rated CDM. We've just signed. All right. Going to put him instead of Cuevas. And then finally the Indian player. He's, he's there until the very end, by the way. We're still going to keep him in the squad. Apuya. He's not become a cult hero for us. But Declan Rice will take his spot for now. Don't think I'm making any more signings. That's the team. I think we're good enough to win the Champions League. Now we're the Premier League winners. Let's see how we do this season. First up, it's the Community Shield final. We'll take an extra bonus trophy, which we end up losing. 
so no bonus trophy for us on pens as well. We only finished second in our Champions League group. RB Leipzig literally went perfect. Now it's Real Madrid we face. I feel like our team's better than ever. We've got a 95 rated cam. Like, come on now. We need to be doing better than we did last season. But Madrid in the round of 16 is going to be tough. No, it isn't. Look at Neymar coming off the bench and scoring for us. You'll have to see that 3 0 in the first leg. The second leg should just be a formality. Now we're simming it. We win 3 2. We're through to the quarters. We're now facing the team that were legit perfect in the groups. It's Leipzig. All right, here we go. First leg against RB Leipzig. You can see why they're good. Gonzalez and Moriba in midfield. Hudson Odoi, Raspadori. But our team's good as well. We just knocked out Madrid and we're on course to knock out Leipzig as well. Second leg against RB Leipzig. Come on. There you go. Similar result of the first leg. Yo, and signing Neymar has been such a dub. He's coming on and scoring all the crucial goals for us. Okay, now things are getting serious. It's Barcelona we're up against. Here we go. Mumbai City FC versus Barcelona. Never thought this would be happening. First leg. It's a two-all draw. This is going to go right down to the second leg. Can we get this done? Second leg against Barcelona, please. I need to win the Champions League this season. And come on. Extra time. Dolan comes in with the goal. Seven seasons with Mumbai City FC. My local club. The Indian club. And we're getting them to the final. We only managed to finish third in the Premier League, which is a bit of an L, but ultimately, we're in a Champions League final with a chance to wrap up this fixing challenge. Let's go. What a season, man. Like, look at the ratings and everyone. Ferraro, 90. Rochworth, 90. Matthews, 95. Who's our top scorer? Not surprised. Armando Bro. I can't wait to try him out, but I've had a good season and look at Neymar. Those five goals, three of them in the Champions League and all crucial ones. He did his job. All right, it's time for the Champions League final. You know what? I want to put the Indian player we've got on the bench. So just in case we're winning comfortably at the end, I'll just bring him on to have a bit of fun because he's been here for all these seven seasons. What a legend up here. What a name too. Let's go. Yep. Champions League final and we've got Mumbai City FC walking out. To be honest, their kids aren't all too bad. This is the away kid, I think. We're playing for that Champions League trophy. <laughs> We're straight from India in a European final. How have we even done this? We don't even have a single Indian player in the team. EA need to allow us to scout Indian players, so... Actually, I don't know why they just, they just don't allow us to scout players from every country. Just, just makes sense, you know. Anyway, they're all created players. Right now, though, we're 1-0 down. Um, okay, Man City take the lead. Guys, I don't want to go through another season. We better start picking up the pace, man. Yo, this version of Phil Foden is absolutely cracked. I can just feel the raw pace he's got. Don't know how I'm going to deal with that. Onana does well. And we just give the ball away like that. Please, no. Please, no. Not another nope. goal. Rushford. What just happened there? I think the refs called the game back for offside or handball. We're so lucky we're not 2-0 down. There goes Matthews, the academy prospect. Go on. He's quick. Can turn pretty quickly too. Looks for Broha who gets taken out there. We look for Jaden Broff. Go on. Bring it back inside. Good stuff. Matthews now has to score. How has Edison just stopped that? One last chance before the first half comes to an end. Here's Dolan. Chance. Difficult angle, but he puts it in. Right before halftime, we get the equalizer against City. Oh, you can do all the backflips you want. 1-1 one, one against City in the Champions League final. It's Dolan with the goal. Oh, I see space again. It's it's Dolan going for the run. He scored the first goal, by the way. I think I'm going to square this one. A simple tap in for Bro, who's kept himself on. And we've taken the lead in this Champions League final. I think we're going to win this now. Let's not bottle it from here. We go back for Braff. Finesse shot from distance. That wasn't going to work. Handball. Penalty. Did we just get a penalty? Yo, I've got an idea. Yo, we're scoring with an Indian. We're bringing on Apuya for the rest of this game. Is it a bit risky? But I want to do it, guys. We're bringing him on and we'll make him shoot this penalty. I'm going to score with an Indian player in the Champions League final. Oh my God, where's he? Apuya. Let's see. His biggest ever moment. Champions League final. Can he put this one in? Decent penalty and the keeper just went over it and he's managed to score. Let's go. 3-1 Manchester City and look at the celebration. We've scored with an Indian in a Champions League final. And of course, it's 3-1 for Mumbai City FC. Come on. Oh, come on. We just let Phil Foden score that. What a volley. And Man City are back in this. 20 minutes to go. They just need one goal. Goes Matthews. He's just got the pace to run through all on his own. Brilliant. 
Keeps it in with him and puts the ball back in. Broha couldn't attack it. Yeah, he is. He has a Puya, the goal scorer. And he's making a run. He's seemingly quick. Yo, this is brilliant. Could square this one. It's a good ball for Braff. Can he actually end up scoring? No, Edison stops him. Matthews gets it back, though. We might have a chance in this game again here. Sproha loses the ball at the end. But, man, Apuya is having an impact. There we go. Carrillo, a fullback. We could end this game with a goal here. Carrillo from distance. Could we get a shot off? Braff tries to put it in. But, no, I think the time should be up any time. You know what? Let, let's not even try something silly. Just going to play this ball to Dolan. Just run backwards. And just pass it round. Or maybe let's just get a shot off with Apuya. Because why not? Um, that's probably why not. But that should be it for the game. Is it it? I think it is. We've just won the Champions League with the Indian club. Mumbai City FC. A one-star team on FIFA. Seven seasons. And we've done it. Just won the Champions League with Mumbai City FC. And with that, we fixed the worst club in FIFA. Catch you all for the next one. But if you enjoyed this, drop a like, subscribe. This was fun. Maybe we'll do more challenges like this. And yeah, catch you guys soon. Tomorrow, Everton career mode, by the way. Peace.